So we're now inbound to Petney. I've increased the video speed to save some time. And you'll see here on the chart that after Petney, we need to make a left turn to a 116 track and we can descend to 1,600 feet inbound to the final approach fix, which is Mainer. So we're now inside of a mile from Petney, so soon you'll see the CDI change around to the inbound track of 116, which is going to take us to the final approach fix of Mainer. Shortly after that, I'll be initiating the descent to 1,600 feet. So there goes the CDI, the aircraft's now making the left turn to the 116 track inbound to Mainer. Now what I'm looking at is the fact that we've got 6.1 nautical miles until we get to Mainer, and we've got 400 feet to lose which is not that much, so I'm not going to need to start the descent immediately and I'm not going to need a massive rate of descent to get down to the 1,600 feet either. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm established on the final approach track, so I'm going to make sure I've got everything tidy. I'm going to bring the heading bug round to the final approach track as well. I'm going to have a uh, quick look at my approach chart while I've got the capacity. So I know that I'm LNAV only, so I need to use this DevPoo restriction of 660 feet or above. So I'll be watching that as I come down the approach. Just a quick reminder of the minimums was 420 feet, and then I can disconnect the autopilot and then fly manually from here. 